Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Did you know that aloe can live outside of soil for many, many months and they will not die? These things are incredible. They're almost immortal. So they will just live for a very long time under many, many crazy conditions. So here I have these aloes here that I dug out of the ground uh, last year. So it's been sitting here outside on my concrete in Texas heat that exceeded 98 degrees Fahrenheit for many, many weeks. And look, you see how dried up they are? And look, they look pretty much stressed out and dead. I mean, they're, they're not planted. They're, they're just sitting <laughs> outside like this. And uh, believe it or not, they are still alive, even though they look pretty, pretty dead. So today I'm going to show you how crazy these things are. We're gonna grab one of these plants here. Maybe a big one. Let me, let's see if they're all the same variety because there's certain ones that I like. Ah, maybe this one here. It does have a straight up uh, growing habit. Okay, so we'll take this one here, you see? The roots are dead. But you see, they still manage to keep the roots alive. Sometimes when there's rain and uh, wherever they're sitting has a little moisture, they would sprout. Look at this, they would try to sprout, but look at how stressed they are. They look almost dead, you see? And this has been here for a long time. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take this one here, we're gonna plant it, and I will show you. Um, they'll make it back to life just fine. So when you order aloe online and you're afraid your aloe won't make it in time, it might die in shipping, they will not. So don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and plant this. Okay, so we are going to plant this in a pretty small container. So first what I'm gonna do is just remove this dead stuff. You can use scissor or anything to cut it. And we're just going to cut these back to just clean things up a little bit. These bottom ones are pretty much dead. They're not going to recover. So we take those off. We should use a larger container for this because the... Uh, the aloe is quite large. Let me cut this off as well. So that one's pretty much dead too. Okay, so we'll have this much left. We can even cut this here, but I kind of like that the root is already coming out. So that can help recover. Plant it straight and then kind of hold the, the leaves like that. That way the soil doesn't go between the leaves. Okay, let me, I need more soil, so let me get some. We're going to pack it down a little bit. Okay, that is it. And now we're gonna give it water. And there we have it, that is it. And remember, aloe does not like too much water, especially standing water. So make sure the uh, there's moisture, a little bit moisture in there, and that's all you need. If you have standing water, the roots are gonna rot. And so I have something that can drain well, but also retain a little bit of water. So I'm, I use my garden compost, those, that's great. And then once it recovers, these leaves are gonna not recover because they already dried out. And so the newer leaves are gonna grow really well. So we'll come back and I'll show you what happens in the next few months. Okay, we are back 30 days after planting the aloe. And look at that guys, it is back to health. And it is nice looking, healthy again. 
And look at this, it even sprouted roots down here. You see that? So that is how tough these aloe plants are. You can leave these things outside of the pot, no soil, for a very long time. And uh, once you plant them, they'll grow right back. So let me show you some more plants or aloe plants that I dug out one year ago. I left it in my garage. They're still alive. So I'm, I'm just going to let them sit there until I'm ready to plant those somewhere else. So let me show you what they look like. So before we go into the garage, here are the plants that you saw in the beginning of the video that I left out in the concrete. Look at this, guys. <laughs> 30 days ago, I planted the other one. This one here, 30 days later, still sitting in the same spot, still alive. You see that? And so if I take this, I planted it, and I plant it the same way, it'll grow right back, and it'll come back to health again. You see? So if you order plants online or aloe online, and uh, they ship it to you, and if it takes too long, don't worry. They will not die. They'll, they'll get there. You plant them, they will live. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the one-year-old plant that I left in the garage. Here we are. Look at these here. I dug these out last year because I didn't have anywhere to put them. There's so many little baby plants. So I just put them in a box and uh, left these in my garage. You see how the color is different because it's not getting the sunlight. So it turns a little uh, lighter color. And at this point, they're very weak. If you expose this to sunlight, they're going to burn like this. So you have to slowly, slowly introduce them to sun all over again. Because now they are, they think they're indoors. You know, when you go to places, when you see aloe inside, they typically look like this. Very unhealthy, um, has this lighter green color. They're very weak, they're tall, and sometimes they're kind of flimsy. That's what they look like when you... Um, Take them inside. Same with these. You see here? There, look at that. This one is even attempting to grow. Look at this. And you see how lanky and tall and just weak that looks? And if you take this and expose them to sunlight, they're going to die in a, in a couple of days. So introduce them slowly. So yeah, the aloes are just amazing, incredible plants that can stay outside of the soil for a long time, even years. Um, I'm going to leave this for another year and see what happens, but it's been over a year already. And so, uh, yeah, that's what they look like just to show you. So if you want to do this, uh, save some space when you overwinter them, just put them in a box and just leave inside your garage. Open the garage door every once in a while, just give them some natural sunlight like this here. And they will stay alive for easily over a year. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.